one thing that surprised me was how great of whiskey that Dave makes. <laughs> well, it's all about that hand-built pot still too. Mm -hmm. It was a rough road when we first started. We had three bottles on the shelf. <laughs> that was it. We opened this distillery because Dave is a horseshoer and you know it's hard on the body and he's getting a little older and so we're looking for a job that he can do to put him in towards retirement and I knew he could do this. <laughs> this is a business it's not just a distillery so you have to learn your business skills too which you can get from a local community college or um, seminars you know there's a lot of free seminars out there but you just have to you know know where to find them. Yeah another note if uh, you want to be a distiller start the distillery up but make sure you have distilled spirits barreled and mature before you even open your doors. It'll just be a, <laughs> a much more of a streamlined experience and you probably won't lose all your hair. The nice thing about um, being in the in distillery is all of us distillers, we're not really competitors because we all do di our products differently. Even we have um, a friend down in Seattle and he makes bourbon just as we do, but he does it in a different uh, method and his bourbon is slightly different than ours. Well, we found Deluxe by one of our customers and she's a local gal and she came in and she loves our whiskey and uh, she just came in a couple times and she goes, hey, I started this new job and you might be interested in our products. And so her and um, her supervisor came in and brought in all kinds of goodies for us to look at. And there was a couple of them like, oh, this is cool. We want that. And that's how it all started. <laughs>